One of the toughest brawlers around. The following is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Hart Foundation from Reno, Nevada. Weighing in at 281 pounds, Jim the Anvil Neidhart. A founding member of the Hart Foundation, multiple time tag team champion, Hall of Famer, and father of Natalia. Few hit harder than the Anvil. Would you rather get hit by an anvil or get hit by the anvil? Well, only one of them laughs in your face after hitting you. He is the greatest technical wrestler in WWE history. And his partner, representing the Hart Foundation, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman Hart. The man who mastered the sharpshooter, one of, if not the best technician ever, the Hitman. There's always one guarantee when it comes to Bret Hart. He will leave it all out in the ring. Here comes the Mastodon. And from the Rocky Mountains, weighing in at 450 pounds, the WCW United States Champion, the man they call Vader. Hey, this dude can flatten anyone with a Vader bomb. Get ready for a display of brutal striking ability. Vader leveled the competition in Japan. He also adept at high-flying moves and has one of the best moonsaults in all of WWE. He's got the moonsault. He's got the Vader bomb. I don't know which would be scarier to see up close. You want to find out? I'll tell Vader to aim for you tonight, Saxon. Oh, don't you, don't you do such a thing, Corey. Those two titles adding a little swagger to his walk and representing the alliance from fairfield connecticut weighing in at 289 pounds the ecw champion and the nxt champion kid Cornish. just think about the grind that comes with being a double champion as great as the glory is the hard work that comes with it is no joke. Yeah, he may look good showing off the gold, but he's got to look good defending it as well. Otherwise, it'll be gone. The double champ is here, and the level of oxygen in the room has changed. Holding those two championships, he's making his assault on the WWE history books.
The Hart Foundation, widely considered to be one of the greatest groups ever, despite the different in-ring styles of these men, they function so well together. Well, there's no question the Hart Foundation has been trained to perfection. These superstars are in prime condition, incredibly well-rounded, and know how to attack as a unit. It's that in-ring chemistry that has made them so successful. The buzz in the air here in Baltimore is simply amazing, guys. Oh, not a power bomb onto the apron. Setting up for something here. Oh my goodness! Face ran out of barricade. Six, one, two. And able to beat Vader to the punch. Saw it coming and got out of there. to the gut. Another damaging Bang. kick. Close line. Nice combo. The ref still counting. Might be a count out. Jim the Anvil Knight are turning up the intimidation factor. He gets tagged in. Taking flight! What? Coming down on their opponent like a sack of bricks. One. Held in a perilous position. Still too early to wrap up this one just yet. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Oh. I don't know what they're looking for here. He's got one thing on his mind with that chair, and it has nothing to do with lounging. Tag is made, and here we go. Uh-oh! Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing! That was an absolutely 